everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. Want to give God praise tonight on this October the 31st because the Lord is good. And I want to praise him because his mercy endures. I want to praise him because there is no God like Jehovah. Hallelujah. I want to praise him because he has done great and marvelous things. I want to praise him because he gave his only begotten son Jesus uh, to pay the price for our sins. Uh, I want to praise him because he accepted the sacrifice uh, of our Lord Jesus. Uh, and Jesus said when it was done it is finished. Hallelujah. Jesus won the victory for his people. Hallelujah. He triumphed over the enemy. And even though evil is being celebrated on this 31st of October. I want to let you know that Jesus has already defeated the enemy and he sits in the seat of power. Hallelujah. None is greater than him. And I want you to know that all are going to bow. The Bible says every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. He's Lord in the heavens. He's Lord on the earth and he's Lord over his people. I give God praise for the great works uh, that he has done. I'm also reminded of the great thing uh, that God did for the children of Israel after they had been enslaved by the Egyptians uh, for over 400 years, you know, a long period of time. God did not forget about his people. God sent a deliverer and his name was Moses. And after God finished whipping Pharaoh, hallelujah, Moses penned this song in the book of Exodus after they had been delivered from the hand of the enemy. Moses penned this song song in the book of Exodus the 15th chapter and I love how verse 3 says the Lord is a man of war the Lord is his name Pharaoh's chariots and his armies he hath cast into the sea his chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea the depths have covered them. They sank to the bottom like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, has become glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has dashed the enemy in pieces. And the greatness of your excellence, you have overthrown those who rose against you. You sent forth your wrath. It consumed them like stubble. Hallelujah. There is none greater than God. And I don't care what enemy rises up. I don't care what the devil does through people. I want to let you know that there is none greater than God. He is the true and the living God. He is the great I am. He is the rose of Sharon. He is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Israel. He is our redeemer. He is our Messiah. He is our savior. He is the one that rose from the grave. Hallelujah. He is the one that has all power, all power belongs to God. And on this evil day that they, well, some people call it the evil day, but this is the day that the Lord has made. Uh, but on this day when evil is celebrated, I want you to know there is none greater than God. And I want to leave you with this thought. Hallelujah. All will see and all will know that he is Lord. Hallelujah one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord. You know, in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now, it demands that you know who you are, who you belong to, and where you are going. And so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who 
was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3, 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.